here in Texas. What was different about this and what was uh, unique? Uh, well, there were also, what I was surprised was, I mean, these are guys who are big, iconic musicians for me, like Ray Benson, Dale Watson, you know, and the Trishas, and I thought, wow, can we get these guys? Will they come hang out with us? And they're like, I mean, Dale Watson was canceling concerts just to come and meet me, you know? I mean, they all wanted to so be a part of this, and part of it is because of Willie, I'm sure, being involved, and, and Lyle Lovett and Chris Christopherson, but I mean, they all, uh, you know, I think deep and buried in every, every musician's an actor, I think, also, and they all wanted to come be a part of it, and so you know, and so early on, uh, my casting director and I said, "Let's just cast every role in the movie be a musician." And so it pretty much is. You know, there's, you know, like like Bruce Robeson and Charlie Sexton and Marsha Ball, like part, uh, Marsha Hickman, all in the family. You know, and and uh, it's like everywhere you go, there's someone playing. You know, beatbox over here, or or you know, this being this is awesome. For, uh, you know, so everywhere you go, there's some musician. So uh, we really put. You know, pretty much. It's, I think it's going to be a drinking game, frank, frankly, for uh, for Austinites. You know, every time a musician pops up, you've got to take a drink, right? Right. So, and you're going to be since there's like 40 or 50 of them. You know, it's going to be a tough drinking game. Thank you. Quick question. You bet. A lot of Christmas movies are actually based around tragedy. If you think about like Christmas Carol, right? Like, you bet. Ghost and all that. Uh, and so is your film. I'm wondering, like, you bet. how do you end up handling that in the film, and why are so many Christmas movies like that? Well, it's always well, you know. Um, that's part of the family, you know. People die, you know, and and and, and, and moving and, and moving on for that, and, and learning how to live past that, you know. It, it's that's sort of the sort of part of our story, but it's also a comedy, you know. I mean, I think that's real life, you know what I mean? And so, um, you know, it makes it it gives the film a certain depth, I think, as well. That it's not just a, you know, I love Christmas Story, you know, and I love those films, uh, but uh, so, but it's not just a kind of a light film. I mean, there's a, there's sort of a message to it as well, it's sort of about what family is about, what family means how important family is. Um, how do you think that you handled it in this film? Because specifically, isn't it, doesn't it involve a child? It does. I mean, you know, obviously we and we, we sort of show it, but not, we don't show it. You know what I mean? We, right. we try to handle it as delicately as we can because we want everyone to see the film. You know, this is not a, you know, a, you know we don't want kids to be traumatized by it, you know, but, but it, you know, it's just with some big issues. I mean, the main, the central issue, I guess, as you know, is Sarah Connor Jr. plays a guy who, when he was young, his brother died on Christmas Day and he blames himself and so th therefore he hates Christmas. So the movie is how he gets past that and realizes, you know, Christmas is all about family and memories and, you know, and, and togetherness and, you know, and, and how important Christmas is to everyone, you know, and so I think, I think it's got a great positive message about that, so. Would you describe it as a musical? Uh, I, I don't know, you know, music, how do you define a musical? I mean, a musical is not where people break in a song and advance the plot, you know, with dialogue and the music, but I mean, there's, but this being Austin, there's music everywhere you go, you know what I mean? That, yeah, every time you go to the coffee shop, there's a guy with a, you know, a guy playing a guitar, and, so it's you know we've got I don't know it's something like twenty something thirty maybe songs in the film you know including I love it Willie Nelson Chris Christopherson all playing of course so uh, so you know maybe it is uh, there's certainly going to be a hell of an album kind of it I think <laughs> so like we've got Dan Watson's done like I think two or three songs in it Willie does one you know so well, I can't wait to see it yeah it's, it's a lot of fun it's thank very very Austin film so <laughs> thank you so much for thanks thank you. thanks guys.